It seems like 2022 is going to be a big year for many Korean favorite couples, so let me show you all of the couples that decided to take the huge step in their relationship and tie the knot in 2022. Park Shin-hae and Choi Tae-jun. The news of this couple's future wedding hit us like a truck back in November of 2021. It's been long since they started dating and since they decided to go public with their relationship. Back in March of 2018, it was confirmed what everyone already suspected. Shin-hae and Tae-jun were in a relationship and began dating in 2017. These two met at Cheongang University and developed a very close relationship after debuting. When the suspicions of Shinhe and Taejun being in a relationship arose, they first denied the rumors because of personal reasons, but we now know the truth was a little different. Flashing forward to 2022, it seems like their love has grown even stronger over the years. After the official statements about their marriage were released, both of the actors also wrote personal letters to the fans where they expressed how much in love they truly are. Shin Hye's words were beautiful. She said, I am getting married to the person I have been in a relationship with for a long time. He has been a source of support for a long time and embraced all of the shortcomings of the person Park Shin Hye. Not only that, but Shin Hye also announced that they will soon become parents. She shared, And though I am cautious to say this as it is very early on, I was blessed with a baby. I wanted to tell you before anyone else. Their private wedding was held on the 22nd of January of 2022. A magical date for a magical couple. Shin Hye looked like a fairy princess and Tae Joon looked as handsome as ever. Congratulations! So Yeon and Cho Yoo Min. So Yeon and Yoo Min decided to tie the knot in November of 2022. I can already imagine how beautiful this fall wedding is going to be. Although there's quite a big age difference between them since Yoo Min is 9 years younger than So Yeon, their relationship has only been stronger ever since they started dating 3 years ago. To share the big news, So Yeon posted a heartfelt letter to her fans in which she said, I've always felt thankful to everyone and sorry at the same time. And today is the day when I get to tell everyone that I'm getting married. I decided to spend the rest of my life with someone I'm grateful for who always supports me and believes in me, cheers me on, and makes a sincere effort towards my beloved parents. It seems like these two are a match made in heaven and I'm so excited to see their wedding this fall. Kim Eun-jung and Gae Lim. Both Eun-jung and Gae Lim are incredibly talented people, so seeing them on this list just makes me very happy. Firstly, Eun-jung debuted as a member of the girl group Jewelry in 2008, but she left the group after her contract expired in 2014 and has worked as both an actress and a songwriter as well. Her chosen one, Gay Lim, is a music producer who is responsible for hit songs like BTS's Fire, EXO's Baby Don't Cry, or Twice's Pitta Pat. Eun Dong has also worked with Gay Lim on numerous songs. It's good to see them not only being partners in real life, but successful business partners as well. They had been dating for 8 years now, so it was about time that they took their relationship to another level. Eun-jung and Gae Lim have already joined the happy married couple since their wedding ceremony happened on January 16th of 2022. Due to the recent rise in COVID-19 cases, it was reported that their wedding ceremony was a small one, but I'm sure it was beautiful nonetheless. Hyun Bin and Son Ye Jin Although this couple isn't married in real life, they might as well be because of how much their fans have been talking about it. Hyun Bin and Ye Jin got to know each other through some of their acting projects, especially Crash Landing on You, which has been gaining popularity ever since it was released. It wasn't long until it was announced that these two are officially a couple. The news broke out to the public on January 1st of 2021, stating that Hyun Bin and Ye Jin had already been in a relationship for the past eight months. Looking back at all the clues we have been receiving, I think it's safe to say that their wedding is bound to happen sooner or later. In November of 2021, it was reported that Hyun Bin and Ye Jin are allegedly engaged and that the insider reports suggest the two have been sorting out their assets in preparation for marriage. Hyun Bin also allegedly purchased a $4 million penthouse and it has been speculated that this is his future home with Ye Jin. Well, I personally can't wait to see how this little mystery unfolds. Soo Young and Dung Kyung Ho. Soo Young and Kyung Ho are next in line to get married and their special day needs to happen like right now. Their fans are that excited. Especially because this couple have been together for almost 10 years. They started dating back in 2012 and they are still going strong. This makes them one of the longest lasting couples in Korea's entertainment industry. Suspicions about these two deciding to tie the knot blew up mainly after netizens noticed that both of them were following an Instagram account of a wedding service studio. In one of his interviews, Kyung Ho opened up about the possible marriage and said, I don't have plans to get married yet. I will feel more settled after I get married and I really want to, but I can't do this alone. I also have to think about it. I don't want to burden or hinder my girlfriend's career with a wedding. I think we'll get married when it's the right time. Although Kyung Ho shared that there are no plans for marriage yet, I think we can all agree that their big day is going to be 
soon. I mean, they are basically perfect for each other. And it's not often that you see a famous couple maintain their relationship for so long. Xinhua's Andy. Xinhua is a legendary group when it comes to K-pop, as they have been on the scene for 24 years. It's no surprise that some of the Xinhua members have decided to settle down with their partners. Especially Andy, who has shocked his fans by announcing that he will be getting married in the near future. In a letter dedicated to his fans, he wrote, Today I am here to deliver news that I wanted you all to hear from me first. I have found someone whom I want to spend the rest of my life with. This person makes me smile when I'm facing hardships, and this person cherishes me so much. I hope that you will please congratulate me on my new beginning in life and look upon us with warm gazes. It's allegedly that Andy's fiance is a female announcer that is nine years younger than him. Apparently, the couple met naturally because of their job. The exact date and additional information of Andy's wedding is yet to be announced, but I already can't wait. Kim Woo-bin and Si Mina. Woo-bin and Mina are the perfect example of in sickness or in health. It's safe to say that their relationship has been through many ups and downs. Woo-bin and Mina first met in 2015 when they did an editorial shoot for Giordano together, and their relationship was officially confirmed later in the same year. Just a year after their relationship was made public, something devastating happened to Woo-bin. After noticing something was off about his health, it was announced that Woo-bin was diagnosed with nasopharyngeal cancer at the age of just 27. Thankfully, it wasn't too late for Woo-bin to start treatment for his diagnosis, and he began the long, tiring journey. Mina was quickly praised for staying by her boyfriend's side and dedicating a lot of her time for taking care of Woo-bin and also supporting him in such difficult times. Because of this, both of their careers were put on hold for two whole years, and thankfully, Woo-bin's treatment was successful and everything went well. So the media already suspected that it wouldn't be a surprise if Woo-bin and Mina wanted to take that huge leap in their relationship after everything they've been through. Although there was no news about their wedding yet, fans are impatiently awaiting their big day. They are truly the sweethearts of the Korean entertainment industry, especially because of the bond they share and their wedding is highly anticipated. Hopefully their wedding will happen in 2022 so the wait can finally be over. Lee Kwang Soo and Lee Soon Bin. Kwang Soo skyrocketed to fame when he became a sensation after starring in SBS's Running Man and he has been a staple on that show since 2010. It was exactly where he met Soon Bin during one of the episodes in 2016 and I think it's safe to say both of them will remember that day for a long time. Two years later in 2018, it was announced that Kwang Soo and Soon Bin had been dating for five months already. Now they have been dating for almost four years but kept their relationship pretty private. They don't really mention each other in interviews or appear together in public. Something changed in 2021 though because the couple has been more vocal about each other and displaying their affection towards one another online as well by liking each other's posts on social media. Because of Kwang Soo and Soon Bin being more open about their relationship, netizens are suspecting that their big day could be in 2022. Fingers crossed. Park Se Young and Kwang Dong Wook. The huge news regarding this couple was announced on January 24th by Park Se Young's agency, CLN Company. Having been friends since school 2013, they grew closer in the past few years. Their wedding will be held sometime in February of 2022, but the agency didn't specify the exact date. We do know that their wedding is going to be a private one with only their family members attending. It's heartwarming to see them come such a long way together. I wish them nothing but the best in their married lives. There you go, guys. Which one of these weddings makes you the most excited? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.